we Kenyans have a saying, Hakuna Matata, which means, don't worry, be happy. But today, we have a lot to worry about. Climate change has hit my country very hard, and deforestation has made it even worse. To grow crops, we need rain. For rain, we need trees. No trees, no life. Now, when I was younger, you used to have very, very big rivers. You used to have very, very good forest cover. Then all that has been disappearing in time. And therefore, we are concerned that something has got to be done now and not tomorrow. One of the biggest consumers of wood is the tea industry, which is the main cash crop for more than 700,000 farmers. 600,000 of these tea farmers are smallholders whose farms are Rainforest Alliance certified. Through our training programs, they have learned methods that protect their soil and streams as well as their communities. These methods boost productivity on existing cropland, which means farmers can harvest and sell more tea. There is one problem, and it's a big one. In Kenya, tea factories still use firewood to wither and dry the leaves for black tea. In fact, the boilers are the same ones that British colonists brought over in the mid-1900s when firewood was cheap and plentiful. Today, wood fuel is precious and expensive, and when it comes to native trees, it's also illegal. But these factories have no alternative to wood. It costs as much as 800,000 US dollars to replace just one wood boiler with a more sustainable option. We destroy the forest, we are destroying humanity. The levels of water are going down. Water in this country is more expensive than petrol. If this is not sustained, if we don't conserve our environment, then we will not sustain the, 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 the population that we got. We are talking about 50 million Kenyans today. And at, at, a, at individual level, to be sure that we need to conserve our environment, right at the, at the farm level. So the problem that we have to solve is complex. How can we reduce the pressure on Kenya's native forests while still supporting the livelihoods of those farmers who depend on tea as their main cash crop? This is an urgent problem for smallholder tea farmers and the factories that process their tea. One factory burns through 700 trees per month. That means that the farmer's bottom line drops as the cost of wood rises. Burning wood also hurts farmers because it destroys the forest that generate the rain needed to grow tea. Farming in a way that conserves the environment is both necessary and urgent. One solution we have identified is biomass briquettes. These are chunks of fuel made from agricultural waste like sugarcane fiber and macadamia nut shells, as well as sawdust waste. By using briquettes, a tea factory burns a lot less wood and lowers its carbon emissions. When Kenya's national government instituted a strict logging ban in 2018, Lisandegwa saw an opportunity. Even locally, you see there's a growth in the number of um, companies that are moving from coal, especially, towards uh, uh, briquettes, because that's, of course, renewable energy. There's a few that are still using firewood. And finding with some of those now, they are using firewood together with briquettes. So for us now, I'd say the average Kenyan is becoming alive to the fact that this is just not a sustainable path to walk down on. This growing awareness has also made it a little easier to persuade farming communities to make a big change. In rural Kenya, people have always cooked with firewood. Although it's part of our culture, it hurts our forests and creates harmful smoke. eco briquettes can address both problems at once. So we partnered with social enterprise Enso Impact to find people willing to take a risk and become micro-entrepreneurs. I started this business uh, for two reasons. One, I liked conserving the environment. Uh, the other one, I, I, I use it as an income generating avenue. It, ha it, it has a lot of benefit because when I sell it, I get money. That money is needed in schools, that money is needed elsewhere because needs are always there.
Energy entrepreneurs Lisa Ndegwa and Alex Masharia represent a more sustainable future for Kenya's tea industry. Being part of the Rainforest Alliance means being part of a positive change. Like the great Nobel laureate Wangare Madai said, there comes a time when humanity is called to shift to a new level of consciousness. That time is now.